Hey, it's Catherine with ResinObsession.com and today I'm going to show you a technique on how to seal your papers for inclusion in your resin castings. Now the reason you want to seal your papers is because like in this example here, you can see in this casting where here at the edge the paper was not properly sealed and you get a water stain. So you want to make sure and seal all your papers for including in resin. So before we get started today, you want to make sure you're working on a wax papered surface and you also want to use a clear drying white glue. So you could try some Elmer's Mod Podge. We have this um, non silicone glue. I would tell you to experiment and see what you like and what you don't like and go from there. But just to get started today, just a clear drying white glue that you have available. Now this is a piece of scrapbook paper that I've gone ahead and sealed for the sake of time. And you can see there's a, a glossy finish on it. You want to make sure and coat both sides and allow to dry. Now that we've got our first coat on, go ahead and cut out some shapes that maybe you want to use in your resin castings. Obviously there's no right or wrong for this, just pick a couple of pieces that you think you want and maybe you just want to do some kind of interesting shapes. Um, and usually when I use this method, I'll do several um, pieces at a time and then I will store them um, between the sheets of wax paper. Now you're going to want to take your white glue again and go over the top of the pieces. Now when you do it this way, you're actually going to want to overlap some on your paper. And this is why it's very important that you use a wax paper surface. Go around all the edges, you know, even kind of dot the edges a little bit to make sure that you get the edges good and sealed and go over all the edges. And then once you get all of these painted, you're going to let them dry. Now this is probably going to take a little longer than um, when you first painted the paper, so be sure to leave yourself plenty of time. You definitely don't want to use these papers until they're completely dry because it will wick in resin if they're not dry. So make sure and go around the edges pretty well. And just kind of go over the edge too for your paper. Um, you want to apply um, you know, somewhere in between, you know, don't over glob your glue, but don't be real stingy either. Um, make sure you get plenty. You know, don't, glue is cheap, usually. I'm gonna go over your edges, and then you're gonna um, just be sure you got everything the way you like it. And then you're gonna cover them and let them dry for a couple hours. So now that our second layer has dried, we're going to peel these off again. So same thing, you're just going to very carefully peel them off the wax paper. And if you get a little edge on here, that's even better. So hopefully we've got a nice sealed edge. Let me peel off another one of these. Okay, so at this point, for example, with this one, see how we've got like an extra bit of glue there? You can go ahead and trim that with a pair of scissors. You don't wanna get quite to the edge or quite on the edge, just kinda of to it. So you see we've still got a little bit of an edge there to work with. Now examine your edges closely. If you don't see a good, um, seal and sometimes it helps to hold these up to the light. If you're concerned at all that an edge is not sealed, then you'll want to take your brush and go directly on the edge here with a little bit of glue and then let it completely dry. Um, 
you can do that as often as necessary. So once you've got all your pieces the way you need them, then you'll want to let them completely dry before you use them in your resin castings. Now to store these, I will do it on wax paper. So I'll just put a bunch on wax paper, put down another piece of wax paper and, and let them store flat and they're pretty much good indefinitely. But you want to be absolutely sure that your glue is 100% dry before using it because if it's any bit wet, it's going to wick moisture into um, the, the moisture from the resin is going to wick into your paper. So if you get a minute, stop by our resinobsession.com blog and jewelry making forum. We share lots of information on how to cast resin and make resin jewelry. So thanks for stopping by today. Happy crafting.